Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, May 6th, and this is our third session that we get to be together on YouTube and video. And I want to make a huge shout out of thanks to the Eccles Community Art Center for making this possible for us. Because without their suggestion and their help on getting it uh, posted out on YouTube, we wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you, Eccles Center. God bless you. We sure do appreciate you making this possible. This week, what we're going to be talking about is the negative mind. Again, now we've talked about this in the past, but with the opening of the nation and a lot of the pressure you guys are being put under, you're having to do a lot of decision making that I want to make sure that that part of the mind is working to the optimum it can for you so that you can make the healthiest choices possible for yourself. Now, as we've talked about in the past, the negative mind is the first part of those three parts of our mind that, that, that work together, the negative mind, the positive mind, and the neutral mind. That negative mind is the first one to go into action, and it's to protect us. It's part of our immune system. It's part of what looks at what we're encountering and making sure that we're safe. We're also today going after we build that part up and, and really get some energy to our negative mind and to our immune system. We're going to do a meditation that will work on the very first filter that the negative mind uses and that's one that really keep, it works to keep us safe. And I'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the meditation portion. But let's get tuned in first and get ourselves ready for another great Kundalini Yoga session. Bring your hands together to the center of the chest in prayer pose. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Om Namo Guru Te Namo Om Namo your hands into your lap, plant your seat bones firmly into your mat, tip your pelvis just a hair forward so you clear your tailbone and start stacking your vertebrae up your spine one at a time, moving as you need to to gain that balance. Bring your shoulders back, your chin straight back in towards your throat. Pull up on the spine as if there's a string raising you up. Pull up straight and relax down into that perfect straight position. Retreat, retreat just for a minute into that private sanctuary. That place that you're all alone and it's perfect. You can spend as much time as you need there. If you need to turn off the recording for a minute and just spend some time there, it's really important that you get to know that space. We're having to be in quarantine anyway, but to have a space that you can retreat to that is just yours is really important right now. It's really good for you, so give that a try. Let's go ahead and get started with our Kriya for this week, though. The Kriya for the negative mind. This helps get our vessel powerful enough that it can provide the energy that helps us make good healthy decisions. So we're going to start off this week with a four-part pranayam and this is going to use a simple mantra so hung so hung. Now we're going to we're going to repeat it a little differently than that but I, what so hung means is I am thou. So we're going to be in a position with your legs out in front of you, just straight like that. We're going to bring our fingertips to the pads right here at the base of your fingers. Our arms are going to go straight out with our thumbs up and we're going to lean back as far as you can without your legs coming up. 
So about as far as you can, your eyes will close to the third eye point and the pranayam goes on the inhale, you will mentally recite four times, so, 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 so. And on the exhale, you will mentally recite hung, 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 hung. So it'd be Keep your arms parallel to the ground, your thumbs up, and just ride the breath. You're going to do that for three minutes. So it's with your arms out, your thumbs up, your fingers right to the pads, and it's mentally so, 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 so. Exhale, hung, 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 hung. Inhale, so, 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 so. Exhale, hung, 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 hung. Give that a try. You're going to do that for three minutes. And then at the end of that three minutes, I want you to just come back into this position, sitting cross-legged, your eyes closed with just a normal breath. Go ahead and turn off your recording now and give that a shot. Okay, welcome back. I hope that went well for you. You find that middle point where you can just balance and you're able to just ride the breath. That's what we're looking for is you concentrate on that four-part inhale, the four-part exhale, and you're able to just ride the breath. Now for this next asana, we're going to spread your legs nice and wide, and this is called a moving leg stretch, and we're just going to do this one for two minutes. So, you inhale up to center to get started, then exhale out to the left side, come as deep as you can. Inhale back to center. Go straight down to center with the exhale as deeply as you can. Inhale back up to center and then go to the right as deeply as you're able to do. Reaching out with your hands, ideally to reach out and grab the bottom of your foot and help you down a little bit. You're going to do this for two minutes. It's inhaling up to the center to start. Exhale left, back to center. Exhale center, back up to center. Exhale to the right, back to center. And just keep going with that. We're going to do that for two minutes. To finish, I'd like you to just inhale and come back up to the center and relax for me, and then we'll go from there. So, turn off your recording and give that a try for a couple of minutes. Just that nice deep stretch. And I'll be here when you get back. Okay, so I hope that felt good. I love that back of the leg stretch. And if you coordinate that with your breathing, you can really get a wonderful stretch from that. Let's carefully bring your legs together and come on standing up. Our next pose is going to be the triangle pose. Now we've talked about that in weeks before, but what I'd like you to do, your feet are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Your hands are fairly close together, but what we're shooting for is a position where you can get your weight on your hands and your feet just about equally. You're going to bring your head down between your shoulders and you're just going to relax into that position with long deep breathing. Now you may find that you quiver a little bit with that. That's okay. If you start getting tired and you're quivering a little bit, try your best to hang in there with it because what we're really trying to do is put a little bit of stress on that nervous system to build it up. So I'd like you to, to really concentrate on the breath and see if you can help have that pull you through. Now. Let's, one more time, your heels are down, your feet are a little wider than shoulder, your hands are closer than that, and we lock the elbows, bring the head down, and then just long, deep breathing. Give that a try for a couple of minutes, and when you get to finish with it, do like I just did. Come down to your knees, and either sit onto your heels, or sit cross-legged. Give that a try, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, that was probably a long three minutes for you. 
but I'm glad you hung in there and gave it your best, even though you were probably shaking a little bit by the end. That's okay, you're gonna get stronger each time you try it. Now, go ahead, you're down onto your knees, go ahead and lay out onto your tummy. Just lay completely flat down with your head to one side, and for a minute, we're just gonna do a survey of what's happening in your body. You've just put it under some stress, so now I want you to go inward and take a look at that stress. Where are you storing it? What muscles are staying tight and they're not relaxing now that you're laying there on your tummy and allowing everything to relax? Is there any part of your body that's still holding that tension? Start at the bottoms of your feet and just inch by inch go all the way up your body for the next minute to get all the way to the top of your head and just do a self-survey. If you want to turn this off before you start, that's fine. Just try to keep it limited to, a, to the minute. I'll see you when you get back. Well, hopefully you were able to identify any of those positions where you might be storing a little bit of excess stress or where you might be feeling a little bit tight and actually gave yourself permission to relax those areas. The next position we're going to be in comes right out of this same laying on your belly position and this is called the cobra pose. Now there's a couple of things that we can do with this but we start out with our hands just a little bit above our shoulders and then as we inhale we push up you Keep your elbows just a little bit bent. Your back is arched, your head is back, and just long, deep breathing. Now, if this is difficult for you, you can always have the hands a little further out so that your back is not quite so arched, or you can even come down onto your elbows like this. But I want you to keep that breathing very slow and very deliberate in fact, a visualization I think would really help you is on the inhale, visualize that you're drawing light up your spine. So as you're inhaling, there's light coming up your spine all the way up to your head. And as you exhale, project that light right out of your third eye point. So you're lighting up the floor right out in front of you with your exhalation. Try that for three minutes. Go ahead and and turn off your recording and give that cobra pose a, posi a try. Don't push yourself up so high that you lift your pelvis off the floor. Keep your elbows a little bit bent and be careful of that lower back. Go ahead and give that a try and I'll see you when you get back. Okay, welcome back. I hope that one went well without putting too much strain on the lower back. Remember that forearm position is just fine as well. We want to take care of ourselves and ease into those more extreme limits of the poses rather than just jump right in there. Now, to finish this one, before you come completely up, and if you had already set up, go ahead back down, back down into that position. And I want you to do a couple of breaths, get into the position, exhale everything out, and now apply the mool bond, the root lock, squeezing the anal glands, the sex glands, all of your pelvic floor. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze while the air is held out. You're in your exhale. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ex and then release it and inhale. Full deep breath, inhale. Exhale everything out. And now come ahead. Back up for just a second and we're going to go into baby pose which is really going to ease that back that was just under a lot of strain from that cobra so in fact you could push yourself right into this as you finish up that last squeeze that last mole bond out of the cobra pose just push yourself right up into baby pose into this position you'll notice my forehead is to the mat my hands are clear down by my ankles, my arms are by my sides, and I just relax in that position for a few minutes. Long, deep breathing, and just give that a minute. If you want to, you can go ahead and turn off your recording for a minute. I'll be here. I'll see you in just a minute.
Ah, oh, that one felt good, didn't it? It always eases up those muscles from the cobra pose, even if it's not listed in your uh, in the Kriya. It's okay to go into that pose for just a minute because it miraculously eases the back muscles if you've been in cobra for a few minutes. So I'm glad you were able to make that work out. Now we're going to just really slowly rise up onto your knees if you can. If you can sit on your knees and your heels, that's awesome. If you can't, just come into easy pose like I am. And for this last asana, we're going to do spine flex. Now we've done spine flex a lot of times. And so it's nothing new to you, but we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're going to inhale and hold the breath. And while the breath is held, we're going to flex the spine as much as we can until you can't hold your breath anymore. You'll exhale everything out, inhale again, and then start again. And flex holding the breath. This is a rejuvenating exercise that works so well, the yogis claim that it will reverse the aging process and make you young again. So there's some motivation for you to try this. So we bring our hands right to our shins and we come standard nice and straight, deep breath in, and then begin to flex, begin to flex, and flex until you can't hold your breath anymore. It'll be somewhere between 15 seconds and maybe as, as long as 40 seconds if you can really hold your breath well, but give that a try, and I'll see you when you get back here. Well, that spinal flex really, really pumped some energy and got us ready for our meditation. You know, this, as I said before, this meditation is going to be on the first filter that the mind uses when it activates the negative mind to start seeing whether or not we're, we're safe or we're in danger. It's sometimes in by Yogi Bhajan, it was called the soldier because that filter, its job is to be that first line of defense when we have a thought, when something is presented to us, when your brain starts to process at all, the first place it goes is the negative mind. Is there, is there danger here? Well, the first filter it uses, the soldier. Now that's all awesome by design, but if the soldier is out of balance, some bad things can happen and, and the social situation we are in right now is really exercising the soldier because you're being told to get back out and start socializing again. Now, if the soldier filter in your mind is too strong, it will, it will change the thought just enough to make you feel kind of panicky, like, oh my gosh, I am in so much danger. Everything around me is going to get me infected. If anybody comes near me, they're going to, I'm going to get infected. Everything is filthy, dirty. And we can't really even process reality because that soldier is saying, is so overactive that he's saying absolutely everything in existence is dangerous. Well, now there's the other side of that too. If the soldier is too weak, he doesn't see the danger in anything. And it will allow you to maybe walk out into a social situation that is not safe, like say going to a concert or going to Walmart or going someplace where people aren't wearing their masks or aren't being safe with social distancing. And the weak soldier filter will go, ah, it's okay, you're safe, you won't ever get the disease. So we don't want that one either. We don't want the one that will kill everything in sight thinking it's, it has to to be protective. And we don't want the one that thinks you're never in danger. Ideally, our soldier filter will take a look at those things happening around us, be able to evaluate properly of, yeah, there's a little danger here, let's avoid that, of, yeah, this looks pretty safe over here, let's go over here. Be able to feed the negative mind accurate information so that when it passes that off to the neutral mind, the neutral mind is truly able to make a neutral decision. So critically important right now, folks, that we keep that focus of what is truly dangerous and what is truly not, so that we can have our lives and be safe. So the way this meditation works is our elbows are right here at our sides, and 
We're going to get your long, deep breathing established. And we're going to use the mantra, So Hong. Or, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the first one of the Kriya. We're going to use the mantra, Sa Ta Na Ma. Sa Ta Na Ma. Sa Ta Na Ma. Sa Ta Na Ma. That's like the, the, those are the roots of the Sat Nam that I identify with truth, but those are actually the root sounds. So we're going to be using those root sounds to change our vibratory patterns involved with the soldier to get the brain balanced, those vibratory patterns balanced back to the accuracy that we want them to be so we exist in that state of truth. Now, the way we're going to do this, our hands are in the, the Lotus Mudra. We're going to focus on that third eye point. We're going to take a deep breath in and you're going to exhale everything out until you're completely empty and you're going to repeat Satanama mentally. You're going to repeat that phrase four times so you get 16 pulses. So it, I'm going to whisper it as if, but you'll be doing it mentally without making any sound. So it's exhale everything out. Inhale, exhale everything out, and mentally. So you're doing that silently. Inhale, exhale immediately, and do it again. Now you're only going to do this for three minutes. That's how powerful this meditation is is that when I start you out, you only need it three minutes to actually change the vibratory patterns of the soldier of your mind. So I'd like you to give that a shot, and then I'll be here when you come back. Well, hopefully you experienced the power in just those first three minutes. Now, ideally, once you get up to that, 11 minutes a day, would keep you in perfect harmony and balance and you may if you really are are finding it useful to you and you may want to go as much as 31 minutes we're going to just start at the three minutes that you practice it with move to 11 with some practice and then all the way up to 31. well i hope that that has helped you tremendously i hope that it helps you to where you can think more clearly when it comes time to make those tough decisions. Is it safe for me to go take part in that activity? Is it safe for me to go shopping in this place? Or should I just stay at home? You need to be able to make that decision for yourself and I hope today's Kriya and meditation makes that possible. Let's bring our hands to the center of our chest for our closing. Deep breath in. Oh, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Oh, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on. Satnam. Please have a healthy week. Please be safe. Practice this enough that you can make some great decisions for yourself during the coming week. See you next week.